Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. Now today I got a very, very, very prophetic or even just insightful video on uh, the future of humanity. And it's more of a uh, global catastrophe um, video so basically it's a uh, beware video so beware of what is going to occur or um, allow yourself to prepare naturally or subconsciously or even unconsciously and um, yeah today's video is coastal flooding now So let's get right into this, all right? Um, this is this is all truth, by the way. I uh, actually picked up this information, and now I'm uh, going to basically spread it so I can get people in awareness or consciousness in order to uh, bring some preparation phase before these uh, coastal floods start occurring. So, um, simply, there is going to be a lot of coastal flooding. Okay. And this isn't taking place in the 2020s. It's actually going to take place mid-2030s. By mid-2030s, there's going to be immense, immense coastal flooding. Okay, just as uh, the stories of Noah's Ark or the great floods in uh, some of the other, um, other uh, uh, books of history, you know, that are basically foretelling these great floods are going to um, slowly occur. They're going to happen in the mid 2030s and um, it can be it can be of a, a meteorological uh, phenomena. you know it can be because of the weather or because of the earth um, basically being in balance because of all of our consumerism and um, then it, it basically activates its immune system to then bring about bigger and bigger storms to slowly cast away any of the um, cancer cells on its body, aka the earth, which would be humanity because we're destroying the earth. So um, it can be of a meteorological correspondence or it can literally be the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki were responsible for the flooding of Atlantis and the destruction of Atlantis. So it could be that... Um, the Anunnaki are once again bringing about the destruction of the uh, continents of the earth in order to make way for a clean slate so new creation or a new world can begin. But basically, um, it can also be of, um, of because it can be of um, the minor pole shifts that are actually occurring, uh, which is a specific phase within the precession of the equinoxes. Specifically, the Dwapara Yuga, there is um, always a minor pole shift. So the pole has uh, the the Earth has these poles. Okay, the axis of the Earth comes to shift very, very, very subtly. Okay, and when this happens, there is immense change that is very, very rapid and sudden on the Earth. And last time this happened was about. Um, about 16 or even 20,000 years ago, okay? 20,000 years ago, about, there was a, a minor pole shift. 
and this is when Atlantis was thriving as a continent and this pole shift actually caused the uh the 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 continent of Atlantis to uh break into pieces and this sent uh, a piece of the continent of Atlantis to sink down it was about the size of Rhode Island so a size of uh a piece of Atlantis the size of Rhode Island basically was uh was cast into the ocean it flooded and it sunk because of this minor pole shift in the earth's uh state okay and uh basically 20,000 years later or so which is today present day um this minor pole shift is going to occur again because it is one of the earth's natural cycles um and america is going to go through the exact same thing okay and this could also be one of the reasons for the coastal the coastal flooding okay which is taking place mid mid 2030 so about 10 to 12 years from now there is going to start um coastal flooding you know coastal flooding is going to start about 10 to 12 years from now and we are going to start seeing the rise of sea levels it can be because of uh, global warming as well we know that the polar ice caps are melting this can either be be because of our um, our interaction or our influence or our consumerism upon the planet, or it can just be a part of the sudden changes of the planet as well, like the minor pole shifting, which is always um, a natural phenomenon, you know. So, basically, um, what is also going to occur is the the sinking of uh, California. So, just as Atlantis was sunk. Or uh, just as a, a piece of Atlantis broke off the size of Rhode Island and sunk, the exact same thing is going to happen to America because history is strange. It repeats itself, okay? And uh, basically, uh, we know that history repeats itself by going back in history and seeing the same things happening over and over. And one of these phenomena is uh, that California, just like Atlantis, is going to um, come to destruction. California is going to crack at the fault line, at the San Andreas fault line, and it's going to become its own little island. And it's going to be known as the um, the continent of uh, California or the Republic of California or something like that. But it is going to become its own island into the, um, the Pacific Ocean, okay? So that's also something that's going to occur. Uh, probably not in the 2030s, but even later. So, but there is going to be coastal flooding in the 2030s, mid 2030s, and it is going to get very, very dangerous. So, uh, there is going to be immense tsunamis. There is going to be great destruction. There is going to be a lot that is going to happen. Okay, and it can uh, be of many different reasons. Really, it can be of global warming. It can be of the minor pole shifting. It can be of uh, the Anunnaki race. It can be of um, it can be of uh, the first one that I was talking about. The Earth's immune system strengthening itself and then the, the weather getting more severe. But that can also fit into um, that can also fit into the minor pole shifting, you know. Because whenever the minor pole shifts happen, there is a, a rapid and, and sudden change taking place within like a week span. And this usually occurs within immense... Um, immensely powerful hurricanes and and things like this you know like category seven to eight hurricanes things like this will happen um and there's a lot more that i don't know about but there is going to be coastal flooding once again that is something that i do know is going to occur mid 2030s and of course um humanity does have plans for it especially the world's most wealthiest people they are building bunkers and things like this for the nuclear warfare that is supposed to take place as well they're um, also building ways to uh, escape this coastal flooding, like uh, building giant, giant ships, um, just like Noah's Ark. You know, the, stor the story of Noah's Ark is actually prophetic in that way because um, it is about a global flood, which is um, basically based on this type of phenomena or this type of happening. Okay, so they're going to build these giant ships in order to uh, basically save themselves from this coast of flooding and they're going to uh, do a lot more things as well that come with that but um yeah that's a little bit of knowledge on the coastal flooding and a global catastrophe that is set to take place 
in mid 2030s we have plenty of time so we think to prepare okay um you know time starts to go faster and faster as we progress um that is the truth so so by the time we reach 2025 it's already going to feel like it's um going to be 2030 and then by the time it's like 2028 uh the coastal floods will already be known about and we would already be um integrating ourselves into a collective state of preparation in order to uh basically get over that catastrophe and sustain our um our our um our species you know it can also be of a, a, an inorganic or arconic um origin too you know which is basically the anunnaki race so the the archons or the uh inorganic beings are actually uh responsible for for decreasing the world's population okay as of now they see the world's population as overpopulated and it said about 8 billion and they actually want to thin it to about 500 million so that's a big big way to thin it and the inorganic beings are immensely intelligent okay they literally control the globe through algorithm okay and and technology and this is why it's coming to a digital infrastructural integration in order so that they can ensure their control globally and this is why the skynet is being put up this is why all of the uh robots are being created right now because the inorganic beings actually keep their hands of control over the 99 percent through technology or digitalization okay and they have things like uh weather control okay they are so immensely intellectual or intelligent that they can actually control the weather with very very uh powerful and and complex technological devices okay like they can shoot lasers into the sky and it hits the firmament and this firmament uh being hit by these immensely powerful lasers then casts a storm and they can predict or they know exactly how that storm is going to um act upon the uh civilization on the surface of the earth okay so basically they can um they can even create global floods as well you know so there is a lot that it can be but uh it can also be like all of them you know it can be a, a little bit of everything taking place at once but either way it's just the period of destruction that needs to take place in order for a new earth or a new world to be birthed okay and this is um what the great reset is all about or this is what the Mayan calendar actually predicted. The end of the world is only metaphorical for a, a beginning of a new world or a creation of a new world. Destruction is literally a form of creation. Okay? Keep that in mind because through the destruction there is going to rise a new world and that's what it is all about. So there is truly nothing to worry about but we should be able to prepare ourselves and uh, come into knowledge before we are... Um, wiped out you know so i do thank you guys for watching once again and i hope you did enjoy the video today on the global catastrophe the coastal flooding happening mid 2030s and um how to even prepare yourself slowly just allow the subconscious to allow you and a whole or a collective to flow into preparation stages and um everything should turn out just all right you know um there obviously is going to be destruction along the way but that is something that happens with life. There is going to come great creation with it and a new world. So that is something to uh, look forward to in the um, in the new days. So once again, I hope you did enjoy the video today. And I hope I did get you in uh, consciousness. I hope I did bring some knowledge to you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Help me reach 100 subs or even more. Drop a like on the video and support the channel once again. Generate some static electricity from the ethereal body or the spatial body or even the, the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rising consciousness. I love you guys. Have a great day and peace out.